Hi there. My name is Bethany Barnard, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I have a Facebook page called Stamping in the Barnyard. And if you're on Facebook, I'd love to have you hop over and visit me there. And if you're led, I'd appreciate it if you would like my page. This is the third project I'm putting up on YouTube on my channel using the window wishes and the coordinating die set that comes with window wishes. You can find this bundle in our July to December mini catalog for 2022. I think this set is a fabulous set. I chose it for my Christmas in July events and these are some of the cards you're seeing from that event and I explain on project number two why I think this is such a good purchase and that it can be used for more than just a Christmas card, but it can be used for several years without anyone realizing that your cards are coming from the same set. I have already begun this video once and rather than start over and cut more pieces, I'm gonna just explain to you what I've done so far. So this is the half sheet of Evening Evergreen cardstock. And I have already put a four inches by five and a quarter inches of DSP that comes from the Bows of Holly designer series paper, which is also in that mini catalog. Once I adhered that on top, I then cut this out right in the center from the Stylish Shapes circle punches. They have three different shapes in there. And I, well actually it's like tags and then squares and circles. So I cut the center out of that. And then I had a piece of basic white that was cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And I've already stamped the greeting on here. And this is actually made up of two separate stamps. It could just say Merry Wishes and then you have for lots of joy at Christmas. So you could put Merry Wishes on the outside and for lots of joy at Christmas on the inside. And I have done that with some of my cards, but on this one, I wanted to put all of that Merry Wishes for lots of joy at Christmas because I'm going to put on the front from our hearts to yours. So rather than start this video over, and I hope you'll understand that, I've gone ahead, I still have to do the me mechanism to make this flip card work, so you'll still be able to see all of that. And it seems like this would be a straightforward understanding of how I've gotten this far with the card. So I am gonna take out now the pieces that we'll be using, and I did already stamp on soft succulent cardstock this swag from the set and I've already die cut it and I've also die cut two red bows and here they are which also comes in the set and then here are the pieces for the mechanism so you can see how straightforward and small these pieces are for this mechanism it's really a fun one but I wanted to let you know that out of the evening evergreen cardstock this piece is three quarters of an inch by three and a half I scored it at seven eighths one and three quarters two and five eighths but I can show you also that if you have a piece that's cut at three quarters by three and a half inches you really don't even have to score it and when I fold this up, I'll show you and explain why you don't have to score this piece. Now this piece, also out of the Evening Evergreen, is just a half an inch by one and a half inches. And it's scored at seven eighths of an inch. All right, so we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna just start by stamping the inside of this circle. Now, I have taken the From Our Hearts to Yours and it was already somewhat semicircle, but I've bent it a little bit more as you can do that with photopolymer stamp sets because I'm going to have it go right inside that circle. So using the Evening Evergreen ink pad, and hopefully not getting too much ink on the side here, but I did, so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. You always wanna check your blocks to make sure that you're not gonna put a shadow 
anywhere when you go to stamp. Because, believe it or not, that is the mistake I made and had to start over. All right, so right in here, from our hearts to yours. There we go. And now I'm going to take these candles. I love these candles, which I'm going to stamp in real red and how the flame goes on separately so you can do the candles in red and then do the flames in a yellow of sorts. Now I have a piece of paper or something underneath that stamp. Hmm. Well, it still works as you can see. And then these are the flames and it's literally just the flames and I'm using Mango Melody ink pad to add the flames to the top of my candle. There we go. Isn't that nice? I love these candles. Okay, now we're going to take, I'm going to put this aside, and we're going to take this swag that's all in one piece. And I've done this on some other cards, which I'll show you on future projects. But you can really make this become lots of different uses of greenery. And I am going to now cut right around here. And hopefully you can see how I'm doing that. And then around the other side, I just want to look for something that looks like a natural end here. We're going to be using all of this, but we're going to use it in three pieces. Okay, so this is our little swag piece which I am going to put up right here. Isn't that pretty? I really love the way that comes out. You know what? I have some dimensionals here. A little bit from my camera, but let me run and get those. I was going to save that bit of time and just use and just do it flat but I do think this looks really nice if it's raised up a little bit so I'm just using the small dimensionals and I'm gonna put them up underneath these candles so pretty I like that okay all right, and now I'll take you through how to make that mechanism. So I showed you how you didn't really on this piece that's three quarters by, what did I say it was? Three quarters by three and a half inches because even though it's scored, it's basically scored into four equal parts. So you could just fold it in half and then fold this to go into that half and this to go into that half and it would be the same as if you scored it because it's just completely in half and then in half again so you can always do that and I've been lazy enough to do that in the past when I haven't taken the time to actually score it out but if you do want to score it as I said it's seven eighths of an inch one and three quarters, and then two and five eighths. Okay, what you want to do next is open this up completely, and you're just gonna put, you have this folded in half, and you're gonna have the fold is gonna come down here so that this is the fold, and then you're gonna put glue on the rectangle that's on an open side. Okay, like this. So here's the glue, here's the fold, and we're going to put it upside down and it's going to go right up to the fold here. And then, so now see how this opens? So, and then we're going to put some glue on that side of the fold as well. And then we're going to shut the card.
There you go. And then once that glue sticks, this should come up and make a square, just like that. Okay, so that's, that's all you needed to do there. And then you're gonna take this little mechanism and there's, this is not scored in half. You've got a shorter piece here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that shorter piece back and we're gonna glue this on here with this folded back. But we're not gonna put any glue on this. We're just gonna put it on that longer rectangle piece here. We're gonna go ahead and put that here. And then while this is folded up, whoops. See, I love this glue because it gives you time to make sure it sits and move it a little bit if you need to. But then sometimes if you're not watching, it moves into a place you don't want it to be. Okay, so now just on this little tab here, that's now folded backwards, you're gonna take that circle, which should fit exactly inside here because it's the same die that cut it out. And you're gonna want to fit that in there perfectly, right on there. And there you go. And then when you open it, it comes up like that. So it's a very easy mechanism. Hope you can see that, right? Okay, we're almost done the card. So we are have these two swag pieces remaining, and we just wanna look them over and see if, like here I've got this little piece hanging out from where I trimmed it off, so I'm gonna snip that off. And then on this side, it looks good. So again, we're gonna use dimensionals, and we're gonna put those up on either side of the circle. Oops, I threw my dimensionals. I had some there, but they weren't the ones I had been working with, so I had a little look for these. and we'll pull these up. And we're gonna put this, let's see, around the side here. And then put this around the other side here. I like this little paper. It kind of looks a little bit like wood bark or something from that Boughs of Holly. All right, and then we're gonna just take these red bows and we're gonna put like a little bit of glue on the back and on the center. Whoops. And we're gonna just put them up here. And then I'm also gonna do something else with these that, we want these where we, where it's not gonna interfere with this door opening or closing. Actually, it wouldn't have when I think about it, but anyway, I've done it now, so. Um, I'm gonna use this pearlized red, um, it's pearlized enamel effects. Now these take a while to dry, so I will do this last and then I'll put it aside to dry, but you'll at least see the effect. I don't have that on this one and I'll probably do that one as well. There we go. All right, so there's the card all finished. Very quick video, very easy to do. And then, as I said, here I go with the, because you might not know, this comes in the mini catalog as well. And it has um, not only the real red, but it also has a silver and a white. 
and it's on, it can be found on page 59 of the mini catalog. But literally, you just take it in, and like in this case, I'm going to try and do berries. And these will settle down even if they have a peak. They'll kind of go down into a soft berry look. And I'm going to do the same here. And then I want a few right in here. Now, how's that for a special Christmas card? I'm going to now put them on this other one. But I want you to look at the difference because I used uh, the cherry cobbler here, both in the bows and in the candles. But I think I do like it better in this brighter, real red color. But... I'm going to go ahead and add these berries because I think that'll make a nice difference. And you can see just how easy this is to use. Now, it's easy to use, but I'm going to have to set these cards aside because it does take time to dry. But I think it's worth it. I have done it on one of the other cards already, so that's how I knew I would like it. And we'll see those cards in one of the future projects. Alrighty, so that's these cards done. Very quick, once you have all the supplies cut up. Thank you.